Hello, kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with a special Sunday update on tropical cyclone Alfred as it moves closer to Queensland and parts of New South Wales. Let's try and make sense of what is going on at the moment. Here is the situation for Sunday morning. Quite a big storm still, but it has weakened back a little bit. It was Category 4 just a day or so ago, back to Category 2, and it might even get down to Category 1 as it runs into this high pressure belt near New Zealand. But it does have the right conditions in the next couple of days to perhaps power back up again before heading back in towards what is looking more likely to be the eastern side of Australia where the storm might fall apart at the end of this week. So we'll try and break it down for you because as we go out for the next couple of days you're going to see the path again like we showed you the other day splitting apart because of the big high pressure belt out towards New Zealand and then the next one coming in from the south and that second one is likely to be the one that balloons out into the Tasman and then guides Alfred back towards shore. So a few moving parts Let's try and make sense of it. So category four, three, now down to two, could be to one as it runs into a bit of wind shear, that sort of stronger winds from the high pressure system and higher pressure over here in the Tasman. So that could then curve it around as the next high grows further to the south and that's where it perhaps slides back in. The modeling is um, conflicted about where. It says anywhere from Bundaberg down even into New South Wales at the end of this week. So that's why there's still a bit of movement as to the future of this storm. That is the Bureau of Meteorology tracking right there and they are expecting Category 2 making landfall in Brisbane later this week. So we'll show you the different computer modelling and what might be possible. Here is the situation today though. 9 o'clock this morning, local time, 300 kilometres off the coast from Bundaberg. Heaviest rain in the southern quadrant, the northern part of it falling apart as it runs into uh, complications in the atmosphere and that is definitely causing some weakening to the cyclone but not enough to end it. It's going to remain out offshore for a few more days just yet. Rainfall, not very much along the coastline but there is a bit of wet weather coming through for you. Wave heights could be the main problem. Um, coastal erosion, dangerous rips, dangerous waves for the next week ahead uh, in coastal parts of Queensland and going down to coastal parts of New South Wales. So let's have a look at this animation showing the cyclone up here. This is thanks to the team at Predict Wind. You can go to their website or find them on the marine setting on ours. So let's animate it across the week. You can see these big waves through the central part of it and as it gets further south it could power back up again and send some pretty big waves into the New South Wales coastline, Brisbane being just here. So pushing further southwards other computer modelling shows it coming in a little further northwards but those big swells still moving down towards parts of New South Wales and even here on Friday once it's fallen apart you're still talking about four five metre waves still offshore. Here is Tropical Cyclone Alfred lunchtime on Monday in Queensland tomorrow. Heaviest rain, this shows 24 hours of rainfall unlike the last map. This shows some very heavy rain, 300 millimetres or so or more just in one day but that's all offshore. The blue next to the green, bottom of the scale, 5 to 10 millimetres for many of you up until lunchtime tomorrow. By Tuesday, the cyclone, we've got two different models showing here. So we've got the American modelling and the European modelling. They're pretty close, but again, it shows you what we showed you last week, that because of the big high pressure out towards New Zealand and the next one coming in down around Victoria and Tasmania, those high pressure systems are going to alter the path of Alfred this week. So the European modelling shows it speeding up further uh, out towards the Tasman. The American model shows it slower, but both on the same track. By Wednesday, again, similar kind of placement for both of the models, uh, and they're both moving inland now. You're both seeing that change to a westerly movement. At uh, the moment, today, Sunday, it's tracking due southwards. We expect to even maybe swing southeastwards for a time, but here on Wednesday, it's starting to push westwards, back in towards Australia. American modelling shows Bundaberg uh, down towards about Maroochydaw. Those are the areas most exposed. And then the European modelling shows it more about Brisbane down to about Grafton being more exposed. And it's worth noting that the Bureau of Meteorology modelling is very similar to the European modelling as of today. So th these two models help us work out as forecasters kind of the outer perimeters of where this storm might go. So you can sort of say that the northernmost placement looks to be around Bundaberg, southernmost placement looks to be around Grafton. Everyone in between needs to pay attention this week uh, as we fine tune where exactly this cyclone is going to end up going. And we get to Thursday. So again, this is a nearly a, this uh, yellow line here shows the distance. 
470 kilometers between the two different computer modeling. Uh, so that's a long way between the two. That still means we've got days to work out what is happening and the reason for the disagreement. I mean, they're both saying the same thing, same track, but just uh, a few kilometer, few hundred kilometers apart. And that's due to the high pressure zones and each computer model trying to work out, you know, whether the high expands slightly that way or slightly that way. And all of those little changes uh, make a difference to the tracking. So you can see that's quite a large area on Thursday. Please do uh, keep up to date with our Monday update putting that out tomorrow, obviously being Monday, um, and we'll be tracking the uh, where we think it's going to make landfall because this could still change. I keep saying that. Look how enormous this high is on Friday. This is the one controlling Alfred's movement. It balloons all the way up to Vanuatu, all the way down to the Southern Ocean. That is a very powerful uh, mountain of high pressure in the atmosphere. As it expands out into the Tasman, it's kind of like when you put a spade into the dirt and you leverage it and the other side bubbles up. Well, this is doing that. It's, it's pushing up and towards the tropics. And as a result, it's kind of leveraging the cyclone back in towards the Australian coastline. And so the exact shape of that high makes the difference as to exactly where that low comes in. And so that's why the tracking is similar, but the landfall area, that is not. Let's have a look at rainfall now. We'll kick off with the American modeling from GFS, shows the week ahead, uh, all the heaviest rain obviously out here, and it has that more northern landfall, which is the reason why you're seeing Bundaberg to Grafton as the main risk zone, with obviously Brisbane in the middle there. You could be talking 400, 500 millimeters or more. Obviously, it depends on exactly where it comes in and how long it lingers for. Still got that to work out, but this just gives you a bit of a rough picture as to what's going on. Let's compare that with the European modeling for the next week ahead, and this is a more southern placement for that heavy rain. Much of it actually coming into New South Wales based on this modeling, Brisbane southwards in that risk zone, Newcastle northwards. Even the hills around Sydney could be seeing some very heavy rain but this isn't locked in. This is just giving you the general seven day by the two main uh, trusted global models. So there we go, that is the forecast for the week ahead. The satellite imagery here shows the cyclones very messy at the moment, doesn't have a clear eye to it. The whole top northern half of the cyclones been shredded already, partially to do with that high pressure zone to the south. And so this is a, a messy tropical cyclone. So at the moment, I would say the uh, coastal erosion, dangerous waves, dangerous swells, that's the first risk. Rainfall is the second risk, because you can see in that map before you, a large portion could be seeing some very heavy rain. The wind is the hardest one to lock in because the worst of the wind is just around the center. So the placement of that makes quite a difference if you want to know if you're gonna get wind damage, because uh, if you're only 200 kilometers out from the center, you may not even have damaging winds. So that's why you're gonna hear forecasts from the Bureau of Meteorology chopping and changing a bit this week. We will be back again on Monday for our normal Australian update, but obviously we're gonna be focused a lot on what Alfred is doing. So we'll see you tomorrow Monday as we hopefully can start to fine tune this forecast a lot more. Stay up to date with the Bureau of Meteorology and we'll see you on Monday. Again.